This is really how we live. What is going on guys, Taters from Team Cyber Taters here today, and uh, I'm going to be here giving you guys a deck profile of a duck that I've been um, looking to play for my next regional tournament, which is going to be December 1st, so i got a long time to prepare, but this is a deck that I'm definitely looking at, and it is Rockstun, Kwaki Mary Rockstun, and um, I'll give you guys an intake into my deck, and uh, since this is a deck I'm going to be using competitively. I have the side deck and everything, and uh, it's a very um, the deck is um, very tight knit and built to my own personal liking because it is a competitive deck that I will be using in tournaments. So um, I'll just go ahead and pre warn you guys. Uh, let's go ahead and get right into it, guys. And uh, we'll start off with Quacky Mirror lineup. I just run three of each: three Guardian, three Sandman, three Wall. Then I run the Go 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 Engine, which is one Go 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 Golem and three Go 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 Giants. I run one Neo Special Grand Mole, three Block Golems, and two Fossil Dina Petrocephalo. On to the spell lineup. We have three Catapult Zone and two Terraformings. Catapult Zone is uh, kind of what makes this deck so damn good. And I'll get to that later. We run two MSTs, two dualities, a Reborn, and a Dark Hole. No Heavy Storm, just because I did not like it in the deck. I didn't care to run it. But uh, if you guys like it, then you guys can fit it into the deck. Like I said, this is built to my own personal preference and built for me to use in tournaments. So uh, you guys can feel free to make changes. I run two Barnabas Trapples, two Solemn Warnings, a Solemn Judgment, two Deep Prisons, one Torrential, one Mirror Force, and one Call of Haunted. Alright, on into the extra deck, and then we'll get into the side deck. The extra deck is one Gachi Gachi, one Chronomaly Crystal Chrononaut, two Soul of Silver Mountain, one number 17 Leviathan Dragon, one Tim Tempo, one Zen Mains Levier. For the rank force, we have Fairy King Alverd, one Gym Knight Pearl, one Maestroke the Symphony to Jin, one Utopia, one Photon Butterfly, a Gaga Ga Gunman, and a Shockmaster. Into the side deck, we run a Morphing Jar, two Legendary Jujutsu Masters, two Giant Rats for the Monsters. For the Traps, we run nine. We have two Skill Drain, two Rivalry of Warlords, two Gozen Match, a Mirror Force, two Needle Ceilings, and for our one spell, we run Heavy Storm on the side. All right, now let's go into some explanations. Why do I run three Catapult Zones and two Terraformings? I built this deck around Catapult Zone. And this is a very um, protector monster deck, um, both game one and game two, because I, I made the deck to where I can... Uh, game two, I will usually side in the same five cards no matter what. And then extra cards for what I need. Um, so this deck really thrives on playing Protective Fossil Dyna. This, this deck thrives on playing Protective Fossil Dyna. Fossil Dyna is a very, very um, powerful card in this meta. And um, with you being able to protect it with Catapult Zone is just ridiculous. Not only that, while you're protecting your Fossil Dyna, you have all of your 1900 and 2000 beat sticks, as well as a Grand Mole to poke stuff off their field and Block Golem to get all that back. Yeah, Fossil Dyna will be staying there for a long while. With a trap lined up to protect it, there's no real uh, getting over the Fossil Dyna lock with this deck. All you need is a Catapult Zone, a Fossil Dyna, and then to just kind of hold there. You just need to play Protective Fossil Dyna and you'll usually win. Um, Black Golem. The reason I opted to play three game one is because the deck game one is all about speed. I made it to where game one is nothing but speed and I pretty much win my victory by just overpowering my opponent and uh, negating their spells and traps while still having huge beat six on the field. And that's what Black Golem really does. Um, strives to do is just put those beat sticks on the field and uh, and keep them there as well as giving you more negations with your Kawaki mirrors. The reason I opted for the Go 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 engine is because game one, like I said, it's all about speed and that's what this, this engine does. It gives you uh, 2,000 beat sticks, a wall, and um, instant rank 4 Xyz 
when you need them. So that's what the Go 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 engine is there for. Now, why do I keep saying game one and game two and all that? Because I built the side deck for um, competitive pur purposes. This deck is for competitive play and it is meant to be played in matches. Um, so what you want to do is when you're siding out into game two, you want to take the Go Go engine, Go 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 engine, and one black golem out and side in your other five monsters, which is a morphing jar, two Jujutsu masters, and two giant rats. What this does is it slows the game down. You can really focus on getting those locks out on the field. You can focus on protecting a fossil dino lock, getting a Jujutsu master lock. The Jujutsu master lock is also a very uh, powerful lock and then your giant rat just helps you to get those faster so game two you're gonna be a whole lot slower and you're going to uh, pretty much play your opponent out you're gonna make them waste their resources to get over your fossil dinas or your jiu-jitsu masters and then you'll pretty much just overpower them from there now when you're signing in you can also sign in these little extra cards cards you can sign out are like um MSTs, you can set out Call of Haunted, Torrentials, and Mirror Forces. And uh, you can uh, side out uh, Walls and uh, Sandmans, depending on what you're playing against. You can side out Terraformings if you feel like you don't need your field spell. You can side out the Fossil Dinas if, uh, if the Fossil Dina isn't being as effective as it could be, and all that. Now, the reason the uh, extra deck is designed like I had it is because of rivalry and uh goes in match. Uh when you're under these cards, you um if you control a rock type monster under rivalry, you can only overlay for a rock type monster. When you're um when you're under earth type with Gozen, you can only overlay for an earth type monster. So with that said, for your rank four overlays rock you have uh Soul of Silver Mountains and for earth type overlays you have soul of silver mountains tim tempo and that's for rank 3s for rank 4s under rivalry when you're under rock you can get um gem knight pearl and that's it but for earth you can get fairy king alvard gem knight pearl and gaga -ga gunman so that is how the deck worked guys and uh, if you enjoyed Please leave a like and uh, favorite if you love us that much. Subscribe if you haven't, guys, because new subscribers means you guys will get to see more awesome stuff like this. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Taters from Team Slap Potatoes, and I'm out. Hey, Carly, call me maybe. Drinking up this vodka, she mistaken it for water. This party just made the news. Guess who just fucked the water?